This video will help you install your VNS2082 or VNS2083 speaker. Before beginning your installation, please make sure to have the following items nearby. A marker, screwdriver, electric drill, ribbed plastic anchors, screws, and the level. The VNS2082 and 83 speakers can be installed indoors on a wall or outdoors on an outside wall. The speaker can be installed up to 150 feet from its wireless controller and when installed outdoors, it needs to be protected from direct rain or snow. Make sure that the selected installation area is clear of any electrical and HVAC lines. The rest of the guide will refer to indoor speaker installation, but outdoor installation is very similar. Position the speaker bracket at least 8 feet from the floor to provide the best acoustics. The speaker can be mounted vertically or horizontally. Hold a level under the bracket to make sure it is straight and mark the location of the two mounting holes inside the bracket eyelets. Using the electric drill, drill the marked mounting holes and insert the ribbed plastic anchors. Insert two screws into the anchors and screw them in until the screw heads are about a quarter inch from the wall. Place the speaker bracket on the two screws and tighten the screws into the wall to secure the bracket. Attach the speaker wire to the speaker spring terminals. Up to 150 feet of 16 or 18 gauge speaker wire can be used between the speaker and the wireless controller speaker output. If the speaker comes with impedance selector on its backside, make sure to set it to 8 ohms. Place the speaker onto the bracket using the two locking screws that came with it and ensure that it is stable. Angle the speaker to provide the best audio coverage and tighten the bracket locking screws. Run the other side of the speaker wire all the way to the wireless controller location. Use a screwdriver to attach a modular plug to the speaker wire end. There are no polarity restrictions. Connect the modular plug into the speaker 1 output. If the wireless controller second speaker option is enabled, the plug can also be connected to the speaker 2 output. The installation is done and the speaker is ready to be tested. When testing, if the speaker level needs to be adjusted, it can be done using the level pot on the side of the wireless controller.